Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. And it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in sleep, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <sighs> Wonder how this is gonna go. These other losers don't look so tough. Oh my gosh, I am so sick of those pompous jerks. Yeah, I'm right there with you. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line? Huh. A race! We've totally got this! <laughs> got this, huh? Boom! Oh. Surprise locker room visit! Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian! And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? Whatever you're throwing at us can't be any worse than the other stuff we've already survived. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes, perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but, uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Aw, Em. Glad to see my charms finally wore you down. Well, I was thinking about how you handled Spleef, and then you made that deal with the old builders, and I thought... An enemy of my enemy is my friend. Whoa, that means Em wants to be, like, friends with you, Jesse. <laughs> what? Em might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How's that gonna work? A bigger group has a better chance of getting past the gladiators. Trust me. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay too. I'm gonna stick with my team, and you should stick with yours. Fine, I'll do that. Competitors, to the starting line. See you at Gladiator Junction. We don't need them. They'll just hold us back. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's going to involve a lot of punching and kicking and all-around awesomeness. Remember, there's no I in teamwork, Petra. Yeah, but there is a me in I'm going to kick their butts. It is a total bummer that we are not going to be able to, you know, work together. Sorry you're going to lose now. I still think you're awesome, though. Competitors, on your mark! 
Get set. Go! What else they throw at us? This is gonna be easy. That's what you think. Huh? Out of the way, jumps! And split. Wow, your memory goes back that far. <laughs> Fire away. Fire squishing. What? Jesse, got your back. Go. Looks like you're all alone yeah, now. That's math. You're gonna pay for that one, Clutch. Prove it. No, you don't. <laughs> Here comes the boo. <laughs> Like, so close, I could do this. Sorry, now I'm winning this thing. Hey, whoa, whoa, Jesse. Way to catch up, dude. Very nice. You just can't take a hint, can you? Get huh? dunked whoa, whoa, on, slacker. On. Whoa! No! Oh, come on!
Whoa. Man, intense enough for you? Thanks for saving me. Don't mention it. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. You tried to kill me! I... I had to. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. <laughs> Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? <gasps> no, no! Please! You probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. You really trusted Hadrian? That guy's like a creeper in a purple power suit. Hey, you try being stuck here as long as I have. Then you can talk. I'm out of here. Okay, respawning is the worst. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Hadrian doesn't like to be kept waiting. And are you mad too? Mad I didn't get eliminated? No. No? Because you seem mad. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm mad that he wouldn't let me kill you a few times before I brought you upstairs. And you should know I asked. Come on. No. Just Jess. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. <sighs> okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. Give me one sec. I want to talk to him. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hurry up. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse. I'm Sebastian. Um... I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I, I'm just a minor. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Sebastian. Phew. Okay. Good. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse, come on! Uh, now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Yeah, sorry about that. I just really wanted to hear what that guy had to say. <sighs> Whatever. Wow. So this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> eh, I've seen stuff way more epic than this. Oh, really? Hm. I bet you're just making that up, snob. But why am I standing around? I, I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Oh, and don't touch anything! 
Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Now that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas. Hey, Bat! Hey, Batsy! Whoops! Huh, no portal atlas. A Man Forever Voyaging by Sorin. Another one? Where do these keep coming from? Tim's armor that now belongs to Jesse. So, I see you found Tim's armor. Gotta say, Jesse, I'm surprised that you try and steal that armor. Considering everyone is calling you the new Tim. Doesn't seem like a very Tim thing to do, does it? Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal? More terms? <laughs> you can look closer, go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Doesn't that bug you? Aren't these supposed to be your games? And they are still my games! I love having a legend that can inspire my competitors. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow. But I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Tell me something, Hadrian. Do you even have a point when you start talking? Or do you just hope to find one along the way? Because I'm getting really tired of listening to you blab. Whoa! Wow, well, that's just kind of rude, champ! <laughs> Haven't you heard that patience is a virtue? See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. Hmm. Of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but... No one wins, ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Olivia? Hey, Jesse. Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here! Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. We've been trying to find you guys this whole time. It's been nuts. You mean Petra and Lucas are still with you? That's such a relief! Yeah. Ivor, too. Oh. Yay. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just... wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Reuben.
Sup? <sighs> I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Hadrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright. You know that? What? I told you, bro. Look, my name is Reuben, but the Reuben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though seriously, dude, big fan. Nothing. <sighs> so you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends, and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? You're messing with the wrong girl. And her friends. Yeah, they're awesome! Just being supportive? I'm not messing with anyone. I'm just trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you could win these games? No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine! Play it your way, which is to say I will crush you, and you won't win anyway. Slab, get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. <laughs>